Hi everyone, I'm John, or Tough Cookie. Welcome to Rusty Chains. I'm doing this this segment live on Twitch, so to those of you confused why I just did another intro, it's because I'm going to cut this segment into its own YouTube video for double the views. This is how you farm content. <laughs> so anyway, today we're going to look over the Payday 3 Steam page, because holy shit, we finally have a Payday 3 Steam page. I swore in the first eight seconds. Uh, that were demonetized. It's over. Anyway. So yeah. We finally know it's not Epic exclusive. It's finally on Steam. We've got the page. Here we go. So first things first, we have a, a wee little trailer. This is our logo reveal trailer. So first things first, in this trailer, looking at it, because this is the big new engine reveal, I am not huge on the water. I think the water looks a little flat, and by little I mean very flat. Like, I know this is... I don't think anyone expected this to be up there with, like, Horizon or God of War is the prettiest game ever. But, um... I don't know. It, it's not doing it for me. However, if you go over... I've scrolled too far. If you scroll, like, this section, I think the lighting here is a lot better. You can see the bridge looks very nice. Uh, the lighting here reflects very well. I think this is pretty good. I think the environmental lighting is the best part of this trailer. So, but again, this is pre-alpha. It's subject to change. I assume it will improve before launch. This is the year of Payday 3. So, a lot of people are mixed about this logo. I am not a fan. Uh, as some people have said, it looks very similar to the Hitman logo. But, let, let's look at the... Let's look at the Payday the Heist logo, right? You know, it, it makes sense. Um, because like... Yeah, let's pull this up a bit bigger. Thanks, Wikipedia. So when I think of Payday the Heist, I think of, like, warm, saturated colors and the yellow-on-yellow yellow menu. So the red works with that. Warm colors in the game, warm colors in the, uh, in the logo. But also I think of, like, the heavily, like, urban concrete environments you see in most Payday the Heist heists. So having this, like, chipped stone logo worked very well. Um. And now you look at the Payday 2 logo. Makes sense, right? Fine. It continues the same font. Or similar font, slightly different in the damage, but whatever. So it's the same series continuity. It's got the two, and that works a lot better because Payday 2's art style leans a lot more into like looming, contrasting shadows. Let me turn off Steam Alerts while I'm doing this segment real quick. Probably should have done that earlier. Fucking whoops. But Payday 2's got these looming shadows, right? And it's got the blue on blue menus. There's a lot more stealthing. There's a lot more working in the shadows for Payday 2. So it makes sense to have the cooler color scheme. Blue 2 in the logo works very well. And then you go to this. It, it, the Payday font that they've used for two games across ten years is gone. Having the colored aspect that matches the theme of the game is gone. This logo is so minimalist, it feels 
it, it feels very sterile to me, and sterile is not the thing that I like to think of when thinking about Payday. And we had another logo. from an old Starbreeze Investor report. And it was this. And that looks much better, I think. This logo looks so much better. Because what we know of... Is it the same font? I don't think it is. Maybe it is. I can't even tell because it, it's so, like, torn up. Sorry to the YouTube viewers I'm reacting to a Twitch comment there. It said it's the same font. But the personality of the wear and tear is gone. And the color aspect is gone. I think the green 3 works a lot better. Because, um, green, money, no-brainer. And also, they've said a big part of Payday 3 is the digital age, right? So having green with, like, the Matrix or, like, you know, old DOS-type font works a lot better. So, ah, I, I am not a fan of this new logo at all, of the Payday 3 logo that we have. It, it completely screams that the personality is gone to me. It's a very sterile logo. I don't like it. This is the screenshot we have as well. This model looks suspiciously similar to the diesel one compared to the other ones we'll see. Um, I don't know why, but this image gives me very gives me very source filmmaker vibes. Uh, these are just from the same trailer. So we know about that. I think this is the best, um, hang on, I think these are different, I think this one might be in diesel, because in this image, which is clearly the new one, there's a big cut across the the star in the bottom bottom left there in the blue and that's not visible here anyway I think this is the best looking image of the bunch uh, we clearly see the masks rendered in Unreal 4 or 5 whichever they're using they haven't announced yet um, you can see the the cuts and the scrapes of all the masks over the over the um over the years they've been working as heisters it looks very good and you can get a real sense for the the new lighting they're doing as well wolf has the good contrast and shadow here dallas has shiny reflection uh, chains is a bit shiny, but you can see the shadows warp on the sides, the nose reflecting. Very good use of shadows on chains. Again, Hoxton, shadow, light, deep shadow. It's a lot more than you've seen Payday before. I like that. The new lighting engine uh, is showing its versatility so well in this image. Good shit, Starbreeze, on that one. And then last, uh, the concept art we've seen before. Nothing floating around. So going through here, good lord, 45 people on my friends list party wish list did this. Um, so let's see. Payday 3 is the much anticipated, no kidding, sequel to one of the most popular co-op shooters ever since its release. Payday players have been reveling in the thrill of perfectly planned and executed heist. That makes Payday a high-octane co-op FPS without equal. That's true. So this says to me, that we are still going for the fast-paced nature that you see a bit more in Payday 2 than in Payday 1. I'm, I'm all for that. I definitely think Payday 2 is more fun than Payday 1. Payday 1 is a lot more uh, a lot more challenging. 
and it's got that more strategic skew to it. That's great if people like that. I personally prefer Payday 2. Step out of retirement, back into the life of crime in the shoes of the Payday Gang, the envy of their peers, and the nightmare of law enforcement wherever they go. Cool. Several years after the crew's reign of terror over Washington, D.C. is ended, they assemble once again to deal with the threat that roused them out of early retirement. I am wondering what that threat could be that forced them out of retirement. Can't be Kataru. They're all dead. Can't be the government. Bane's in charge. Can't be Murky Water. They're all in jail. So maybe it's a new threat? Because if this is what's forcing them out of retirement, they haven't made any new enemies in the meantime. So I'm very curious to see how that goes. And what that is. I hope we're not doing the supernatural stuff again. A mature content description. The developers describe the content like this. Payday 3 contains repeated displays of gun violence. I sure hope it does. Including the shooting of civilians. Okay, we know that. That's kind of part of the series at this point. And law enforcement. Um, okay. Sure is the, uh... Sure is the name of the game there. Payday 3 references alcohol and tobacco as well as illegal drugs in a lighthearted way. What does lighthearted mean? I, I'm, I'm, I'm curious. I'm curious how that shakes out. And then we own the specs... Um, but all we know about release date is 2023. It's going to be this year. But so yeah, that is, uh, that is what Payday 3 is looking like right now. So that, that's my thoughts on it. I'm not huge on the logo, but I'm still excited to play it nonetheless. And I'm excited to see more as time goes on. So thank you to all our YouTube viewers for watching that segment. I'm John from Rusty Chains. Uh, let me know what you think about the Payday 3 Steam page down in the comments below.